best of environmental governance. Leading the Bagunhons toward progress and development is Mayor Nicholas M. Yulo and Vice Mayor Ramon D. Torres through their dynamic leadership. Compelled by the desire for a community that is clean and green, a shoreline teeming with mangroves, highlands filled with lush forestry, and empowered and responsible citizenry. The administration spearheaded pioneering programs and projects. Working with the City Environment Management Office and other agencies, both public and private initiatives, for the protection of the environment and the preservation of Bago City's natural resources were achieved. The City Environment Management Office had been successfully implementing these major projects. Plastic Regulation Ordinance Bago City, among other local government units in the province, had taken seriously the campaign against single-use plastic. Massive information drive on the Plastic Regulation Ordinance was undertaken to regulate the use and sale of single-use plastic, cellophane, and styrofoam as packaging materials. The City Environment Management Office deployed enforcement groups and employed strategies to successfully implement the program and hurdle related challenges since its launching last June 24, 2021. Aiming to regulate the use and sale of single-use plastic, cellophane, and styrofoam, the ultimate goal of the ordinance is to instill to all Bagunhons the care and protection of the environment and natural resources. Reforestation Project To mitigate global warming caused by climate change, the city government of Bago topped the support of various stakeholders to increase the areas of upland and mangrove forests of the city. A project under the umbrella of Kahoy Sangkabuhi, program of Bago City. The upland reforestation in barangays Mailom and Ilihan drew in participation from the Canlaon Green Brigade volunteers, Coca-Cola Butlers Philippines, barangay Mailom and Ilihan officials, and civic organizations. Together, they were able to plant 700 narrow trees on two different occasions. In the coastal areas, the Bantay Katungan Volunteer Group is in charge of the care of the mangrove nurseries and propagation of bungalon, pagatpat, and backhouse seedlings which are provided for mangrove planting activities. Presently, 11,500 seedlings of mangroves had been planted through the program. <music> MAPSEP Expansion in Barangay Binubuhan The LGU's concern for the welfare and empowerment of farmers is the motivation behind the ongoing MAPSEP expansion in Barangay Binubuhan. Under the umbrella of Kahoy Sangkabuhi, the program covered 129 agrarian reform beneficiaries of upland barangays by providing them grants to support their Madre de Cacao, plantation for charcoal and firewood production. This helps address the problem on Kainin. Farming furthering the protection and preservation of forests and increasing farmers' income through elimination of middlemen in the selling chain, with the city primarily buying their produce. To compensate for the loss of the harvested trees, the former beneficiaries are encouraged to plant endemic trees. Recyclo Project Rolled out in the months of June and July this year, Recyclo is a waste reduction initiative. A recycling competition, Recyclo challenged the artistic and creative minds of Bagunhons. With the use of residual wastes, products of better value were created. Abiding by the COVID-19 protocol, entries were made off-site in the barangays. Each entry is supported by a video for authenticity. More than the cash prizes received by the winners, 
Reciclo strengthened the advocacy for environment protection and preservation in Baguio City. Inter Barangay Clean and Green Contest The current administration emphasized the importance of a clean and green surroundings to ensure that the barangays comply with the Solid Waste Management Program of the city an inter-barangay clean and green contest is held annually. The program encourages the barangays to sustainably implement the solid waste management program, including organic farming for composting and maintaining a gulayan ng barangay. Presence of free park and material recovery facility are also part of the evaluation's requirements. The barangays are grouped into four categories. Coastal and City Center, Upland, Lowland North, and Lowland South. The winning barangays receive cash prizes as much as 30,000 pesos for the top placer, of which they are encouraged to use for their projects. Environmental Law Enforcement Bago City is known for its natural pressures. To protect and preserve the environment, Enforcement teams are deputized to monitor compliance of environmental laws and to apprehend violators. These teams conduct ocular inspections, technical conferences, and apprehensions on illegal structures in restricted and protected areas. Cutting of trees, illegal logging and transport of timber, industrial and commercial sand and gravel mining, inspection of permits, handling environmental complaints, and solid waste management. Through the enforcement of environmental laws, Bagunhons are encouraged to be responsible while doing their share to preserve the environment. Decon Plus At the onset of the pandemic, Bago City immediately tackled concerns on decontamination, public safety, and infectious waste management. It was then when the Deccan Plus project came into being. A collaboration of the CDRRMO, GSO, Sage Show, the program includes the contamination of public places, offices, and other areas of public convergence. Frontliners were significantly trained on the proper disposal of COVID related and other infectious waste. Deccan Plus is a continuing program that aims to protect Bagunhons from the threat of COVID-19 and its variants. A community that is clean and green, shorelines teeming with mangroves, and highlands with lush forests, empowered farmers, healthy and responsible citizenry. A booming green Bago city that Mayor Nicolas Yulo, Vice Mayor Ramon Torres, and their administration are striving to give to the Bagunhons. Go Bago!